It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today I'm going to show you some new beers that have hit Sainsbury's as of May 2022. I'm going to start off with a couple of boxes from Tiny Rebel Brewing Company. Now, I actually picked the two boxes up and a couple of beers from Brew London. But when I went to the Tiny Rebel stand and had a chat to them, had a beer with them, they said, look, these are launching into Sainsbury's as of like yesterday. So... I didn't purchase them myself, they were gave, given to me by Tiny Rebel, but they explained the branding. So, um, Tiny Rebel, just haze, hazy IPA, this is a brand new beer into Sainsbury's, 4.8% ABV, a hazy IPA. Lots and lots of you will understand and know this beer, Club Tropicana. Uh, so what's different? Well, they've made the Tiny Rebel branding bigger. The Tiny Rebel name is bigger, and um, that was the explanation there that they told us at Brew London. But I'm looking forward to getting into that. I quite like Club. I had it on the perfect draft about two years ago. Really quite decent. I mean, it's, it'd be interesting to see the difference on this beer now, how much is kind of, if it's evolved, if it's changed, is it different in the can? Brew by numbers, uh, 21 pale ale. This is a Citra pale ale at 5.2% ABV. Uh, brew by numbers, quite a big fan of theirs. They do some interesting stuff. They make some interesting beers. In fact, they launched a beer only a few months ago into Sainsbury's. It was a 40 something, it was like 44 or something. Something like that, 44 IPA. Uh, another pretty solid beer. By, by Brew by Numbers in Sainsbury's. Now, the interesting thing that I found in my local Sainsbury's is that these cans have either been reduced down to £2 or £2.25. It's a brand new release of beers into Sainsbury's. I'm a week late showing these beers off. Reason being, I was at Brew London, didn't have a chance to do it. But yeah, I mean, look, the, the, the next one was £2. This beer here from Brewdog, reduced to £2. Brand new beer into Sainsbury's. 6% uh, ABV, uh, beer but make it gourmet. This is a collaboration with Candy Kittens. I think they're a vegan sweet company. I'm not really a sweet eater, so I don't really know too much about Candy Kittens. Um, it's a raspberry and guava New England IPA. That should be interesting. I found the Tony's Hopalone kind of interesting um brew dog to carry on growing their brand and making their company bigger and bigger and bigger they're going to collaborate with these larger companies now or these up and coming companies like candy kittens they're going to do that get the name brew dog into as many kind of households as possible this one i'm really excited by this is by buxton brewery and this is a kind of their whetstone india pale ale 7.2% ABV. This was reduced down to £2.50 in my local Sainsbury's. I mean, I live in South Wales, so if you're living in London, South East, North, you may experience different kind of prices, but they were very cheap in my local Sainsbury's. £2.50 for this one. For the 7.2% ABV IPA, that's pretty decent, isn't it, £2.50? I just hope it holds up. Pardon me, if anyone heard that. Don't raise your leg and lean over and put a beer on the counter when you're 44 or 43 years of age. Because uh, you, as you get older, you can't um, control your bowels as, as, as you used to be able to do. Um, Siren Craft Brew Thought Bubble Juicy IPA. 6% ABV. Another beer reduced down to £2 in my local Sainsbury's. Brand new beer. As far as I'm concerned, it's a brand new beer because I go to Sainsbury's sporadically because it's a nine mile journey there and a nine mile journey back. So it's a bit um, bit of a trek for me to get to Sainsbury's. So I wait for the big release to come out. And then if there was a couple of stragglers that I hadn't reviewed when I was in a previous Sainsbury's craft beer buying spree, then I found it now. So... I hope it's new, but it may not be. And the same goes for some of the other beers as well. Uh, Guilo, 
a peanut butter and raspberry jam pale ale, 20 IBUs, 440 mil can, 4.9% ABV. This was around the £2.25 mark. Relatively cheap again for craft beer. I think these guys are based in Hong Kong. Yeah, they're based in Hong Kong, these guys, Guilo. What have we got next? We got a... Should we break it up a bit? Should we get a couple of the Tiny Rebels in? This is Tiny Rebel Fruzy Fruit Smoothie IPA at 6.5% ABV. Probably Tiny Rebel being one of the market leaders in this new smoothie style beer range where a lot of the beers are really sweet and they use ice cream concentrates. Probably Tiny Rebel were one of the first, if not the first company to start doing this. Whether you agree, whether you like the beer is another matter, but lots of people seem to be liking it because lots of brewers are kind of following Tiny Rebel now into this kind of fruit smoothie, overly sweet beer category. I like a bit of beer. I like a, I like a bit more of a traditional beer, but um, each to their own, eh? Um, Unity Pale Ale, Hush, 5% ABV. 5% there, 440ml can. Um, I think I've had something from Unity Brew Co. Maybe not for a while though. Definitely not for a while, because I, I was kind of picking it up, looking at the cans. Have I had anything from Unity? Uh, Tiny Rebel. Equalizer IPA, Hazy IPA, 5.8% ABV. Another interesting looking beer. It's funny, Tiny Rebel, they're kind of... They're trying to hold on to being as cool as they possibly can. Even though they've kind of like... Tipped a bit, as I just mentioned earlier, to this kind of like... Hazy, smoothy, shortbread sweet raspberry beers that but but they, now and again they'll bring out a beer hazy ipa look 5.8 percent abv that's that's as close to a nipa as you're ever going to get 5.8 percent abv sounds interesting i'm looking forward to it uh next beer is from camden town brewery i'm going to actually review this straight after this video i just like the sound of it and I quite like Camden Town. I think they're a pretty solid brewery, even though they're owned by one of the massive brands. I believe it's AB InBev. AB InBev have just let Camden do their own thing and, and, just, and just create what I feel is really solid beers. Whether this changes with this vanilla lager, whether I still like that sort of beer will be a different thing, but we can only check it out, drink it, review it, stick it on YouTube. 4.8% ABV, 440 ml can. And last but not least, making sure I don't pick up my coffee mug and show you that. Tiny Rebel 313, Craft Lager, 4.6% ABV. All of these beers available into Sainsbury's. So they've had a bit of a big drop, haven't they? One, two boxes. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 12 beers there. 12 new beers. One more time. The Tiny Rebel beers were handed to me at Brew London. The rest, I purchased myself. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.